it's different, and you know I'm, I'm learning a lot more ball and uh, being around these coaches, being around these different you know di different type of athletes, you know from all over is great. After four seasons as the head coach at McGill Tulin, Ernest Hill has taken his talents to college. Just a phenomenal teacher. Um, and, and a really great mentor and obviously from a recruiting standpoint it speaks for itself what he's able to do and, and the connections that he has in this area. Over his career Ernest has specialized in coaching defense specifically the secondary. Now he brings that unique perspective to the South Alabama running backs room. I always have thought that coaches that have that have spent time on opposite sides of the ball bring tremendous value. I can actually teach my guys uh, you know, to you know, add this right here because I'm, I'm thinking the defense might be doing this particular uh, drill right here or particular play right here. Look closely and you will find two hills listed on South Alabama's roster as Ernest's son Brian recently transferred in from Tuskegee. A lot of dads, you know, coach a lot of football and, uh, you know, for me to have an opportunity to coach him in high school and college, you know, that, that's special. But now him being my running back coach is uh, like Everything, everything we do with football is with him. So it's, 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 it's different because I get to be around him more and uh, he gets to teach me. He actually gets to teach me now. From McGill Tulin to South Alabama, Brian and Ernest represent this coaching staff's vision for the program. We want to do a great job of connecting to this city, connecting to the people, right, and making sure that we keep our homegrown talent here uh, playing in, inside Hancock Whitney Stadium. I know this staff right here is going to do a great job and um, I'm just, uh, you know, happy that I got the opportunity to, you know, come join it and, you know, hoping I'm, you know, be a part of something special. Robbie Baker, News 5 Sports. Thanks, Robbie. The Jaguars red and blue spring football game will be held April the 17th. That's a look at sports. We're back with more of News 5 at 10 after this timeout.